Hey everyone, G loves trains here. You join me for a travel home day today. So I'm going to be making my way from Spain back to the UK. Now I am going to be flying with EasyJet. However, this time round, I'm traveling from Malaga Airport to Gatwick Airport and then making my way onwards from there. First of all though, I'm going to get myself into Malaga Centro Alameda as I'm taking the train to Malaga Airport. All right, I'm on board the train now. This is one of Renfe's commuter rail services. I'm going to be travelling along the C1 Costa del Sol line. Now, admittedly, I actually had written down C1 bus. I genuinely thought we were taking a bus to the airport, but it turns out it's actually a train line. I am on board a Class 464. We are actually going to be sitting on the platform here for another like 15 minutes before we actually depart. But once we do depart, we have only got about 11 minutes and four stops on this service through to the airport. It costs two euros 30 then as well for a single on uh, one of these cards. All right, we're here outside of the terminal now. Interestingly, the terminal doesn't have a number, but yeah, we're going to make our way into there. And again, we're putting the suitcase in the hold luggage, so we're going to go and get that dropped off. All right, there was quite a big queue then for the bag drop off, but we're finally done with that. We've done the online check-in with EasyJet again, so we've got our boarding passes on our phones. Um, so yeah, we've just got to get through security now and I will see you on the other side of that. Well, there was a bit of a queue going through security then as well, but we are through on the other side now. Didn't get pulled over for anything, which is good. And uh, yeah, just making our way out of duty free. I proper need a wee right now, so I've got to find some toilets. <laughs> OK, so our flight is the 11.15 Gatwick, boarded at 10.40, gates at B16. Yes. We've just come to the gate now, however we've looked at the departure screen and it's come up that our flight is delayed, it's only due to set off now at 12.40 so we're just going to keep an eye on that and in the meantime we're going to have a chill out and have a coffee. All right, we are finally on board the plane now, and I say finally because we were initially two hours delayed, but then just as literally we got to the very front of the queue then, ready to go through and board the plane, they put the barriers back down, and uh, we ended up standing there for another half an hour, maybe more than that. So it's probably closer to three hours delayed now. But anyways, we are on board another A320. We're sitting on the opposite side to what we sat on when we flew to Barcelona in seats 20E and F on the right hand side of the plane. I am hoping for another really smooth takeoff like last time. So yeah, I'm just waiting for everyone to finish boarding now and uh, see what the takeoff's like.
All right, we're up in the air now. Again, it was quite a smooth takeoff. My ears haven't gone yet. I'm uh, constantly just stopping them from going at the moment. The flight time is two hours, 55 minutes. And also just to mention, I, the reason I'm going to London is because the flight to London simply was cheaper than a flight to Manchester. I've got the breakdown of the cost here. The flight itself was £22.81 per person. The seat reservation was £7.49 per person and to put the suitcase in the hold it was £26.49. So the whole luggage actually cost more than the flight itself. Um, overall it added up to £56.79 which again is still cheaper than like a train ride to London for me. <laughs> right, it's time to just sit back and uh, enjoy the rest of the flight. Well, I've decided to give the penne pasta a try this time. It is quite a small portion for seven quid, but it is pretty delicious. And I have noticed you can actually pull out the seat tray to make it a little bit more comfortable when you're eating a meal. Also, why does yours look so different to mine? <laughs> All right, so we were due into Gatwick Airport at 13.10. We have arrived in at 15.40. The reason the flight was delayed was due to a medical emergency that happened on a former flight. But enough about the delay now. Just picked up the suitcase and we are about to take the inter-terminal shuttle here from the north terminal to the south terminal, which is where Gatwick Airport railway station is situated. It's a shame we're not stood right at the front because you can go right up to the window. So I am going to be making my way to central London now. It's London Victoria I'm off to. Now I have in the past ridden between these two stations on Southern and I thought, you know what, I'm going to take the opportunity, even though, yeah, it is a little bit more expensive to do so, to ride the Gatwick Express. I'm on 387-220 and I've got half an hour on board this service now. I did love the look of the outside of this train with its shiny red colour and Gatwick Express logo. As for the inside, I'll admit I have seen photos and videos so I kind of knew what I was expecting with the interior. It has got a red and sort of light blue colour scheme. There is a plug socket and USB ports down beside me and throughout the coach there is plenty of luggage space. The announcements that were just ringing off then, um, they did say them in several different languages which was lovely to hear. To travel to London Victoria on the Gatwick Express it cost me £14.45 with a rail card and also do you know what, my tongue, because when we ate that pasta we just started to descend so we had to eat it quite fast, it is sort of burnt on the tip. <laughs> Same. So I've just come to check out the toilet and do you know what? It is actually a lovely looking toilet. I'm wobbling about a little bit right now. It is actually a little bit more rectangular than what I'm used to as well, but you've got your basic stuff in here, and a sink, a toilet. Across the mirror to check yourself out. Uh, I was wondering if there'd be any posters up and there's not unfortunately. It'd be lovely to just have a, a picture of a plane or something on there wouldn't it? We are now 
approaching London Victoria, our final destination. Esperamos que hayan tenido un buen viaje y les agradecemos que hayan elegido Gatwick Express. Squishy boobies! And that brings me to the end of my travel home day. It's a little bit chilly here in London, but I've really enjoyed once again riding with EasyJet and having a go on the Gatwick Express. I can't resist but say it like that now every time I see the word express. And you know what? I'm calling it a success that my ears haven't popped the whole journey back. It is going to be a chill evening for us now. We're staying over with someone we know here in London. Thank you very much for watching, everyone. Buzzy bye.